Hey there, you're probably here because you have a leaky shower hose just like this. So stick around and see why I had this problem and how I fixed it. Cause yeah, I did fix it. Now I bought this shower head from eBay. It was $9 free shipping, special promotion, 10 feet long. Like that's awesome. 10 feet. It'll make your shower look like a cruise ship shower. Cause I, <laughs> whatever. And, uh, what I actually chose this for is it says double thickened heads in the picture, which are the washers. And, um, they actually were too thick. I'll just, I'll spoil it. We're going to take a look and see what I mean. So again, here's the shower. It's, it's just leaking everywhere, but mostly out the bottom, which means that the connection inside is too loose and we need to fill up that space. Now my boyfriend's solution was to cut off the top part of the bolt. And I said, I don't want to make a physical change. There has to be like a, another easier way. So see how thick that is, but it's only thick on the, the middle, not on the sides. So it doesn't affect the, the, the threading. When you put this hose on the shower, the threads are still just too long. Now my fix was to take the black washer from the old hose. There it is. There's the black washer from the old hose and put that on, on the top. These washers you can get at the hardware store. If you don't have any extras laying around, the hoses are usually a universal size. And if you don't have them, you can go to the hardware store and pick up a few. Like I said, they're not very expensive and they're pretty easy to find. But here's the issue. See, there really isn't enough threading right there. So what did I do? You're asking. I took off the clear washer and only used the black washer. And there's a little bit more of the threading, but not as much threading as with that clear washer. You're also going to need some Teflon tape here. Don't drop it in your wheat germ. <laughs> Get it all dirty. Uh, clean it off. Make sure it's not full of yucky stuff. What you're going to do is take the Teflon tape and wrap it around the exposed threads. Wrap it like five or six times. Just you want a really thick padding, but you don't want it so thick that it becomes like, you know, another like PVC pipe, but, and you don't want it too thin because you need to have something to fill the threads so water can't go through. And once your Teflon tape is on, you just, Put on the hose. Now, if the hose is kind of wet and uh, slidey, I don't know, <laughs> you can't get a good grip, use a dry washcloth. Um, I don't like to use a metal tool um, like pliers because I've ruined some metal. Like you can scratch the metal. So just use a washcloth, turn on the water and check it out. See if it works. And yay, look at that. It worked. Now moving on to the handle, we're going to do the exact same thing and put the Teflon tape on the handle, the exposed threads only. And if you have some like extra strings or whatever, just push them down. The Teflon tape sticks to itself. And then, yeah, you just do the same. Screw on the hose on the, on the handle and give it a go. One thing I didn't show, I don't know why the footage didn't go through. Um, I had to play with the washers on the hose. And I think on the part that attached to the handle, I used both the black washer and the clear washer. There was a video of that, but I don't know. Technology. The final test. Ready? Let's try. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed there are no more leaks. So let's give it the old college try here. Um, see the handle is dry. So if we turn on the water, hopefully it stays dry. All right, turn, I'm turning on the water slowly because last time I turned the water on, it got sprayed with the water. Um, yeah, look at that. So I've tightened it a little bit more with the washcloth and it looks really good. Um, the water's coming out of the handle with the right pressure. Let's check the top part now. And uh, look at that. There's no water spilling out of the top or the bottom. Um, we are good and dry. Yay. And now it's shower time. Actually not yet, but I do need to do my hair. I'm going to do a Revlon hair treatment and I needed to have the water working before I went and did that. So let's go check out what the boyfriend's doing. 
He's been outside, just, you know, doing nothing, feeding the goats. Let's see what he has to say about my success over here. I showed him the video as he was feeding the goats, and let's just talk to him. I'm expecting some accolades. Tell me how wonderful I am. You're wonderful. I'm wonderful? How wonderful? As wonderful as you want to be. <laughs> how wonderful am I? I've got great, three more seconds. Great and glorious and, and, and magnificent. That's right. You heard it here, folks. Now go do it yourself, because it's a DIY video, and yeah, you have to go do it now. Good luck! Bye! Go find your own slave boy, Brenda. Whatever. Teflon tape is your friend. He thinks she's better than me because he cuts grass and cuts down trees. He is pretty awesome. So if your husband or boyfriend starts to say we need to get the axe grinder out, just say no we don't. Jenny Claire said to get the Teflon tape and another set of washers. Well thanks for watching and I hope that this video helped you out solve your problem.